and speaking of some severe storms, they're rolling through mid-Missouri right now. Utility and restoration companies have been bracing for more work. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live from the Storm Tracker 360 on Highway 63 tonight. Mitch, you checked in with Boone Electric and ServPro to find out what they are doing to prepare for storms and how people can help minimize that damage. Greg and Lucas, the, the storms was talking about here. Pretty quiet when we left Columbia around 20 minutes ago, but as we continue to travel down uh, south here on 63, a lot more lightning strikes lighting up the sky. Now, as far as preparation for this storm, SurfPro says that they make sure they have the right amount of equipment and employees on hand based off the size of the storm. Meanwhile, Blue Electric says their preparation comes in the form of bracing for an increased number of phone calls. So that means letting employees come home or bring their lap work laptops home with them so they can handle those phone calls. But the real work doesn't begin until the storms roll in. Severe storms mean an increased workload for utility and restoration companies. For Boone Electric, it's in the form of power outages. We try to go with the largest outage first, um, so to try to fix that if it's fixable. Um, sometimes it's maybe the easiest to fix. So there are different levels of you know trying to get the most members back on as quickly and safely as we can. For ServPro, it comes in the form of home damage. The most common types of damage ServPro sees from severe storms include shingles being blown off the roof, broken skylights from hail, water damage, flooding, and fires from lightning strikes. However, there are plenty of steps you can take to minimize damage to your home before and during severe storms. You always want to get your home inspected every few years, if not every year. You know, you want to get your roof looked at, you want to get your foundation looked at, get your gutters, your drainage system, and stuff like that, because all that stuff the weather gets too bad, it can kind of overpower some of the protection and stuff like that that comes along with your house. I'd say the biggest thing is usually you can't prevent it, but what you can do is prepare for it. Have food on hand, have water on hand, have backup power, have things like that, maybe a can of gas in the garage in case gas stations are down, things on, on that line. Boone Electric adds it's important to stay alert during the storm. So it's really important to pay attention to things like if you hear a loud boom or if you know that a tree has fallen in your backyard and that's when you lost power. Telling us those kind of things helps us to figure out where the outage is and how to restore it faster. Boone Electric also says they get a lot of messages from people through Facebook during storms. However, these messages are often not effective. We try to give alerts on our Facebook page, just letting them know that we are aware and uh, we, where we have outages and that we are sending crews. But telling us that they are out of power on Facebook is not a great idea. Um, they can let us know by calling or through the app. Boone Electric added that the times to fix power outages vary. However, if you see a line down next to a tree or something, but the power is still on, they said they keep track of all of their lines, so it's probably just a cable, and you shouldn't worry about it. Reporting live just outside Jefferson City, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News.